All right, so this literally might be one of the coolest builds I've ever done. Number one is at this cool PS4, I think. Maybe I don't think it's PS5, but anyway, I think it's PS4. Um, it's using Bluetooth connect to this little mini amazing computer, and then. Now, I want to say on top of things, um, there were some interesting things to get to work, both PS3 and PS Vita. I'll show you that. But I just want to show you, like, first of all, I built a full arcade unit that has a computer inside, hat buttons. Um, I built a handheld. This is a handheld controller for a um you know for a cell phone but i i made a, a uh, raspberry pi 4 in here that has a, a little adapter that connects in so you have a a full um you know a handheld raspberry pi 5 i built um this is a ps2 build that has a Raspberry Pi 5 and an NVMe and two of the Noctur quiet fans in there to keep it nice and cool since it's overclocked you know by like um 3 gigahertz um alright so let's get on the list here I got an Odroid H3 Plus turned into a GameCube as you know I got a Cadus Vim 4 that is a in a PlayStation 2 uh, with a PlayStation uh, controller. I have uh, Turbo Graphics that has a cool orange controller, um, and I have um, this is an Odroid M1. There's that that and it look it's in an Xbox One case. I have a. Um, a Pikachu controller, and then I have this is an actual an older one. This is a a uh, Pi three. Um, I mean this is just a hobby of mine. <laughs> Probably sounds like crazy. Um, I have um, this is Xbox One. It's in a little mini, and then I got like a cool white and black controller. I built a a. It's hard to tell from here, but this is a. 10 inch, 10.1 inch screen, uh, touch screen, and buttons on the side that is a little mini pinball machine. I um, also made an Xbox, which this one won't stay over there. So here's the controller, and here's a full Xbox case um, with 800 games on it. And yeah, um, you know. I have some cool controllers to make some more things. Um, I have the, and here is the, I know I'm moving my camera around a lot. This is the uh, Retro Flag with a Raspberry Pi Zero Two in there. By the way, these are uh, Dreamcast shaped uh, phone chargers. And that's beside the point. But, as in, building things I've had a blast um, and I'm continuing to work on this one which I'm going to rotate my screen here a minute so I'm going to stop it and restart it and I'll show you more about this build play some games for you and it's amazing all right let's show you let's show ps3 games so let's try heavenly sword this is the emulation station desktop edition for a um, for a Windows machine this is Windows 11 uh, base operating system and uh, yeah which see you can just see it's loading fast it yeah it plays really well so let's see if we got some sound here it's okay 
If it has to install anything, I might just, you know, pause for you. No. Okay. I should not have been. Can I skip this? It was written that twenty years ago, in the year of the fire horse, a deity would be born in the body of a mortal man, a savior, destined to unite our people and show us the way to the promised land. Instead, I was born. Right into her eyeball. Keep going, keep going. Closer. Voila. And battle has begun. All right. So I'm just going to pause this quick second. Uh, the cool thing is, if you hit this button, in the, it brings up the, can, um, the emulator. And then you can exit out. And then it will take you back all the way back out to Emulation Station. So, um, PSP, you've probably seen. PS Vita, Xbox. Um, it's, I mean, we could just, let's just try something. Um, sometimes, yep, yeah, I was gonna say sometimes, but so I've got to use my keyboard here and I'll probably fix this. In a, in a view and full screen. Skip the intro thing if we can get. Cool. Still skipping. No ring. There you go. I hit the middle button. Again, hit the exit. Brings it back out. Xbox 360. I wish this one had the little logo in the middle. I don't know why it doesn't, but again, I gotta fix the full screen thingy. I think it's right in there. Nope. Let's see. Nope, that didn't work. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. F11. Alright, cool. So, full screen. Play. Yeah. The 360 version. The um, other version, I think, is just um, yes, is the arcade version. If you ever played this on the actual Xbox. Um, this is what this smaller screen is. What it looked like. This this stuff over here was on the screen, uh, even for the Xbox version. I mean, this is the Xbox 360 version. Oh. So we're gonna hit escape, and then I can hit. This and I'll take it back out. Um, I'm not sure how to exit properly out of that um, with the controller just yet. Nintendo DS. Oh, I haven't, I haven't scraped these yet. Let's try one. Let's do. I haven't actually. Okay, cool. 
So as you can see, since this is a uh, retro arch uh, core, then I should be able to hit start and select and exit out. And if not, um, you just hit escape twice on the keyboard. But as you can see, everything's going to work. And let's see, escape. So I want to see if I can escape without. Uh, So you can see here, create new. But what we're going to do is, um, let's see, I'm going to hit this now. Anyway. Right. GameCubes run at amazing full speed. I want to see if this game worked. Well, of course. Oh, nope, there it goes. Uh, can I be Okay. I think this is one of those you just hit ignore. And it might be that I need to change um, the core or. Uh, anybody know what this is? Just kidding. So we'll try, I have not tried that game, I think I just scraped it, but I know for a fact I tried Metroid already it works, so, um, haven't scraped those yet, oh, let's just try this. So that one game has an issue. I'll just have to see what's wrong with the with the ROM on that one. So you guys can see this gonna work just fine. Do I want to quit emulation? Yes. And back out. So there's little quirks to it. Um you know if GameCube's work, most like a Wii's gonna work. Um Dreamcast. Now this is a custom build. Someone's requested all these particular games. We'll be on Super Saturn here. Um and so, let's just try and see if this works. We got the Yabashan Shin Sanshiro emulator. Um, I did make sure that the. Uh, yeah, cool. Let's see if uh... PlayStation, PlayStation Two, all kinds of fun games. Let's see if Dom had on one. Everything runs at full speed, absolutely. Um, it's just whether or not um, I've changed some of the settings to be like like this one, where it needs to be full screen. I think and this one is. But for the most part, I just gotta. And then on some of them that have the four by three, like this one, where it has the side, um, I just need to get. Uh, some bezels for some of them. Uh, 
Close down. Exit without saving. I reshared your PS3. PSP is fine. Deal with the PSP bit. Now the Vita, not only did it take a long, I want to make a separate video to show you how to get these going. Um, but the thing is, I can't exit out of them if I make them full screen. So what I do is just make them maximized like this. Um, I cannot figure out any buttons whatsoever to see everything where um hold this, yeah. So the only way I can exit out of these is to use the mouse and click up here in the right hand corner and I hit the X button. I already showed you Xbox, extra 60, yeah. So this is just an amazing build. Um everything runs a hundred percent and I'm really wonderfully surprised for um, like a three hundred fifty dollar um, out of the box unit, and then you know you get a controller for twenty bucks. You know it's it, it's just amazing. So yeah, this is an amazing build, and I enjoy building it. Thanks, bye.